Hey guys, I'm it here. Welcome back to the channel. Finally, after a while, we're back with the jailbreak videos, and this time I assure you that you are going to see more content on this channel about jailbreak. So today we are jailbreaking the iPhone 4S on the iOS 9.3.5. The jailbreak tool we are gonna be using is Phoenix, which is a jailbreak for the iOS 9.3.5 and iOS 9.3.6. Before starting, if you're new to the channel, a subscribe would be highly appreciated and if you were a viewer of the OG iMed channel since the days of Check Rain, then make sure to leave a comment below. So first of all, if you talk about the compatibility, then about the iOS version, this jailbreak tool supports iOS 9.3.5 and iOS 9.3.6 only. No other versions are supported. After that, it supports all 32-bit devices including iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, then iPod 5G, iPad 2 and 3, iPad mini and iPad 4. No other devices are supported. This is a semi-tethered jailbreak which means whenever the device restarts, the jailbreak will be deactivated and you will have to open the Phoenix application which will be available on the home screen to just jailbreak the device directly. And with a simple respring, the device will be again in jailbroken state, which means you won't have to use your PC or Mac again to jailbreak the device. Talking about the things you will need, you will need a cable compatible with your device to connect it with the Mac or PC, so that obviously you will need a Mac OS or Windows system, you need internet connection, and you will need to download two files. So now let's head over to the MacBook and get the iPhone 4S ready for the jailbreak. So the two files that you will need are Phoenix 6 IPA file and the site load the setup. If you go to the Phoenix phone official website, they have mentioned CDI Impactor here. But believe me, I've tried a lot of time to install it using Impactor and it fails to work. That's why I am recommending site loadly this time. So to download both of these files, you will have to go to my website. I'm gonna be providing the link of this page in the description box below. You can get a complete written guide here. I've also provided PC free method here, but it might or might not work. So it's better to scroll down to the second method, which is installing using side loadly. So first of all, as you can see here, you will have to visit the Phoenix jailbreak website and here tap on this download button to get the Phoenix IPA file. I will try to add the download link directly here. So you won't have to visit this website. After that, you'll have to go to side loadly and get the side loadly DMG file for your Mac or the setup file if you're using Windows. Once you have both of these files, what you'll have to do is first of all install side loadly. On Windows, you will have to run the setup file while on Mac OS, you will have to double click on the DMG file. And once you see this screen, you can drag and drop the side loadly application in the applications folder. So currently it is moving it in the applications folder. Let's wait for it to finish. So once done, you can eject this DMG file after that go to applications and here we have it so now it is verifying it if you see this error just click on open so now site loadly has opened so first of all connect your iphone with it and here you can see that my iphone is detected on ios 9.3.5 after that you will have to add your apple id here make sure that you add the same apple id that you are using on your iphone after that open the folder again get the Phoenix IPF file and drag it on the side load the application screen. Here you can see that the IPA is now selected. After that, just tap on start. So if you're using it for the first time, then it will also ask you for your Apple ID password. So it is totally safe and recommended. So you won't have to worry about anything. Just enter the Apple ID password. So make sure that you pay attention to the details given here. Currently, it is uploading the file. I would recommend you to go to the settings of your device and here go to general and then scroll down to auto log and make sure it is on never. So it is almost done now. Now it is installing the IPA file. So now it says done and as you can see that the Phoenix application has appeared on the home screen on the iPhone 4S. After that you can quit the site loadly application. Now you can disconnect it from the PC or the Mac. So after getting the Phoenix application on the home screen, you might not be able to access it directly. For that go to settings and here you will have to go to the general tab and scroll down to device management and here tap on your Apple ID then tap on trust and tap on trust again. 
and now it's done now you will be able to open a phoenix application let's tap on it and here you can see that your iphone is not jailbroken now tap on prepare for jailbreak tap on accept and now dismiss it and proceed with jailbreak and then tap on begin installation after that you can tap on use provided offsets and now it is running the exploit so you might see this error that storage almost full just ignore it and now it has finished the jailbreak process and now the device is rebooting into jailbroken state so just wait for it So now the device has turned on, let's enter the passcode and after that if you open a Phoenix application, here you can see that your iPhone is jailbroken, you may launch Cydia from the home screen and now you can access Cydia and all of your Cydia tweaks will be enabled. If you see this error, then you can head over to my website which has provided solution to most of the common problems and how to resolve them. And this is how you jailbreak your iPhone running iOS 9.3.5 and iOS 9.3.6. This was just a tutorial on how to jailbreak the device. And this is just the beginning of getting the fun started. Would you like me to make more videos on this jailbreak, the best tweaks for it and how to take full advantage of the jailbreak? Let me know in the comment section below. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And do you want me to make more videos on different jailbreaks? And which jailbreak should I be testing on my devices next? Let me know in the comment section below. I will see you in the next one.